Today we're playing with critters at Little Ray's Nature Center. <laughs> Hi, I'm Nina, an Ottawa-based blogger. I love to keep busy and stay active by trying new things in the Ottawa region. Follow my adventures as I try new activities and get out of my comfort zone. Today was quite the adventure, and it was a little bit intimidating. I went to Little Ray's Reptiles and Nature Center, and I got to hold and even feed some of the animals. It was so cool. Today I'm going to Little Ray's Reptile Zoo and Nature Center. Had a really good night's sleep, so I'm feeling ready to go and meet some of the creatures. Uh, we're expecting to meet some maybe snakes, tarantulas, other animals today. So let's go see what they have for us. My name is Natalie. Welcome to Little Race. Um, hope you're excited for today. We got lots of cool things planned for you. Um, so we do have some reptiles, we have some mammals as well, but today we'll be meeting uh, up close and personal a tarantula, um, a snake, a big snake, and um, we're gonna get to also feed. We're gonna start with maybe our little caiman and then we're gonna go on to our big gator. So I hope you're excited yes. and ready for that. Um, so yeah, if you wanna follow me, we'll make our way into Great. the zoo. So what we're gonna meet first is Casper. Casper, Casper yes. Oh. She is a golden knee tarantula. She's very, very sweet. She is quite old um, and she's gotten a lot more comfortable okay. with being handled, so don't worry. <laughs> You're gonna stay safe with her. Now, what we do to pick them up is we actually reach underneath and we have them stand up on their own. Okay. Now I am gonna pass her to you. Sure. How do you feel about tarantulas? Oh, I'm, I'm excited to meet excited. her. Excited, yeah. okay, perfect. So what you wanna <laughs> so do is, yeah, play. no, actually the way you have yeah. it is okay. perfect. I'm just gonna place her on you. Don't drop her, whatever you do. I won't. She's kind of like a water Hi, balloon. Casper. If you drop her, she can explode. Um, oh, in here well, is kind of like that. water, but it's also her insides. Okay. And so as soon as that pops open, unfortunately that's- So um, she could literally explode. And yeah, yeah, they literally explode. Okay. <laughs> so if she fell down, okay. she probably wouldn't make it. So we're always very careful with who we hand them over to. You wanna go back to Natalie? <laughs> it's okay. Sit nicely, there you go. You're okay. She's just kind of feeling her way around, so you that's can see okay. she's feeling, yeah. she notices there's nothing there, so she's just kind of staying back. Yeah, if you want to do that, that's like a walking perfect. trail here. There you go. If you notice at the front here, yeah. So just keep your hand nice and flat. Okay. So when she's starting to tip, she does get a little bit oh, nervous. Oh, okay, yep. that's fair. There you go. Um, but yeah, you'll notice the front are kind of like her arms. Okay. The rest are legs. Those are called petty palps, and they actually use them to catch their food. They use them to uh, make um, webs to like tie up their babies when they lay eggs. So all sorts of things, or all, all sorts of uses for it. Little shiny bit there. Are those her eyes? Um, they actually have um, eight of them. Yeah. So there's okay, tons yeah. so at the top. There. Really, really tiny. Uh, yeah. But believe it or not, despite how many eyes they have, they actually have really poor eyesight. But yeah, if you're ready, um, sure. you can uh, just uh, Back you let go. this hand go. Okay. Yeah, you can just let her walk off. Walk that works too. Perfect. You're natural. Yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. awesome. Okay, you guys ready? We're yeah. ready. <laughs> I have to get the biggest ready. one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this is uh, Kiwi. Hi, Kiwi. Uh, okay, hey, Kiwi. Bigger so than I would do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What we'll do is I'll have you help me ho hold the body because okay. it is Whoa, quite heavy. Heavy, heavy. Yeah. Really heavy. Oh, so gosh. just flip them over. There you go. Hi. Okay. I'll oh. hold the head. 
If you want to sit down, we can. Yeah, I know okay. he does get heavy. <laughs> okay. Okay. So we'll let him sort of rest. Hi. All right. Okay. So he's probably about only maybe 30 pounds, oh, um, but okay. feels way heavier when he moves yeah. because he shifts his weight so much. Now Kiwi is a reticulated python, and this is one of the longest snake species in the world. Uh, the longest ever found was about just over 28 feet, um, and it was one of these. These have been known to eat people. Um, however, <laughs> at this size, he is getting things like chickens and rabbits, so okay. nothing quite as big as us. Okay. Um, however, if they do sort of smell something on you, they can get excited, they can obviously nip. So before we ever take them out, we always break their food drive. So we have a hook stick, we tap them a little bit gently on the nose so they know it's not food. So that's kind of what we do. So his food drive is broken. Right now he is a little bit curious, he's smelling around, he wants to move around, uh, but he's not in food mode. When they're in food mode, their tongue constantly comes out and it goes really, really quick. Long, or uh, quick tongue flicks. When they go long like that, they're just exploring, okay. they're smelling, um, they do smell with their tongues. Eventually they do just get comfortable, they sit down, they kind okay. of just relax. Um, he's obviously comfortable there, the way he's tied yeah. up. He's um, so long he can that sit I like feel this like... For hours. Okay. He's so long that I feel like I'm not like that I have nothing to do with it. Like his head's over there and I'm just like holding this. <laughs> no, no, you got a thing, big part. Yeah. So their tail is actually their anchor. Okay. Um, so if you kind of let their tail just like flop, they wouldn't, they would keep moving because I they wouldn't feel comfortable. So they really always- really wanted to get it stable. Exactly. Yeah. So they'll either wrap on, which is not like trying them trying to constrict you or eat you. <laughs> okay. Um, it's just to anchor so they're not, they feel like they're holding okay. on to something. He did um, wrap around my hand as soon as he got on there and I was like, oh, that's a little tight. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they do definitely hold on tight yeah. and that's how they do in the trees. Okay. Okay. Uh, but don't worry if he was constricting you. <laughs> I would know because I have the head. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> um, but yeah, they just get comfortable. Cool. Um, we'll stay out here for now? Uh, you can kind of stay here okay. and watch. Okay. Um, but just stay a little bit back because she will come rushing the door. Sure. <sighs> so, you'll see as soon as I open it. Ugh. Hey girl. That's what happens. <laughs> Get your heart pumping? Yes. <laughs> yes. It's okay, girl. I know. Water. Water. Lady water. Go. Go on. No. Lady water. Water. Come on. I might have to lead her away with food. Come on, go on. Okay, just pass me the bucket. Thank you. Just close the door behind me. Okay, water, go on. Lady, water, go on. Come on. Go. Come on. Water. Come on. Hey, this is really terrifying to only hear the sounds. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it sounds horrifying. Come on. She knows that she's just gonna keep pushing you and you're gonna okay. keep giving her food. So I want this. So up, up, oh, up. Oh, no, we don't wanna give it to her like that. So okay. up, up. Once she's still, then you give it. Okay. 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 Up, up, up. Okay. 
There you go. She's okay. very gentle. Yeah, she's yeah. really good once you actually once get her to sort of it? stop okay. moving. Okay, there's so only one more. One more, so. Okay, let's make it a good one, lady. You ready? Hey, lady. Up. Good girl. Nice. That was, that was awesome. Cool. How's that? that was <laughs> Unexpected. Yeah, so you definitely sort of uh, do little little things that throw her off, she'll change behavior, right? Okay. So if you kind of give it to her right away, she's like, oh, okay, I'm gonna keep rushing and I'm gonna go crazy. Got but it. But if you kind of just let her settle, give it when she's ready and yeah. sitting and waiting, then she knows she can get food. And she'll keep doing that over and over and over. Good girl, I'm all out. I had an awesome experience at the Little Ray's Reptile Center today. I got to meet some critters, even to feed an alligator, which was an amazing experience. So I'm ready to go home, uh, take a nap, <laughs> rest up, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. So that was my adventure today. I'll see you in the next post.